All right, this is how you use Tempo Video to clip up film. Uh, so the first thing you do, go into Settings, and you're going to choose the library. And you can see i got my two angles going, so you can see the keyboard at the same time. So pick the folder that has all the film in it. For this one, I just picked an NFL folder that I had. Um, right there, you can also set the seconds for the skip at whatever you want. Um, I'm going to show you first how you can use an Xbox controller to uh, do this. So pick a game. Uh, I'm just going to choose a random game here, but you can use the Xbox controller uh, or you can use a keyboard to do this. Either way uh, is very effective and very fast. I like the Xbox controller because you can really cruise through some film cut up. Uh, and then I'm going to show you some different ways that you can export it as well. And the purpose of this is so that uh, you can upload this into Huddle. Um, pretty easily uh, when you're done. So what I like to do is if you get a game off of YouTube that you want to cut up, and there's a lot of different ways you can download a game off of YouTube, you can you can Google that. That's an easy thing to do. Um, and then there's some some extensions. If you, There are other ways to download games too. Uh, but if you want to cut it up because you need it into Huddle so you can break it down and show your players, uh, this is a way to do it. Right now, we're just waiting for this game to load. Sometimes it takes a little bit, just depending on the size and the quality of that file. Uh, but it'll be loaded up here in a second, and we'll be going. On the Xbox controller, you press up and down to move ahead or back four seconds or whatever timestamp you set that as. You can set that seconds number to anything that you want. Uh, then you use left to mark the in point, so where the play starts. And you use right on the, on the directional pad, on the arrows on there, not the thumbsticks, but the arrows to set the film, uh, the, the end point of the film. Um, and then A stops it, uh, starts it, um, and then you can use the, the left and right trigger to go fast forward or, or slow rewind. Um, so if you actually wanna watch film using Tempo, which is pretty effective, uh, you can do that as well. I use Tempo for all of my college or NFL film that I just don't have the storage space to keep in huddle um, and, and it works pretty effective for that. All right, so here's comes the film. So the first thing you do is you're gonna go over and you're gonna click edit, which I'm gonna show you in a second. So you slide up there um, and you click edit uh, on the right there underneath the screen. Now get the film going, press A or space bar if you're on your keyboard. Um, down, remember, goes goes back four seconds, up goes forward four seconds. Every time you see that red marker in on my timeline, that means a new clip has been started. So I start a new clip by pressing left. Um, goes for, Once I, I can go forward to the end of the clip, plus right, it marks a timestamp. Those are the timestamps it uses to cut the film. You can really cruise through this. You can do a game in 10 to 15 minutes um, if you're going. Now, if you just want to use the keyboard, space bar starts and stops the film. Up moves the film ahead, down moves the film down. Left or one and two are your in and your out. One sets it in, two sets it out. Um, and left and right arrows are the ones that then uh, go fast forward or slow rewind um, on it. All right, so i uh, show you some examples of how I'm doing this. You can see that I just click through it. I'm not watching the plays right now. If I'm if I'm doing this because I'm cutting it up, I'm just going straight through it so that I can get out of here and get that film into huddle and break it down for our team. Um, all right. So then, uh, let's see. I should be switching over to some. Uh, all right. So now I'm going to go find like a high school game that I ripped off of YouTube to show you what I want to do there. Um, in terms of uh, in terms of breaking down one of those. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to change my directory to the folder, just the folder. You're not looking for clips, just the folder that has those games in it. Um, so uh, let me bounce around this folder real quick just to find what I'm looking for. Um, so let's go here. All right. So I open this up, click on that. Uh, open that whole folder. It's got a bunch of games in it. Uh, I'm going to pick a game uh, from this year. So arrow down. It's not going to let you pick a new game if you already have one open. So you go and you click back, which is right underneath the window where the film is right now. 
you click back and you click close. Stay away from that clear button. That clear button will clear all the data that you've inputted. You don't want that. So back, close, pick that new game. If that new game is like a TV copy like this one is, one thing that you can do is you can either arrow ahead or you just jump onto the timeline there with the mouse and you, uh, and you then click on it and get to the spot where you need to get to. Um, so you'll see me do that here in a second. I go up there, I'm gonna click on that and I get to this beginning. All right, so I arrow back to the start, press one. You'll see the red thing come into my timeline down there where all the clips are gonna start. All right, that means that the clip has marked in. Fast forward to the end of it, two. Okay, let's do that again one more time. Put a clip in, end it. All right, now um, how do you export? All right, because that's the important part. So to export, you you can either do one of two things. You can either, if you're not gonna work with this clip again, you delete clip number one. That clip is two hours long, and if you uh, are never going to use this film again, you simply just wanna export it one time, delete that, and, and that is, it, it's gone. Um, all your clips are still there, but the large file isn't in there anymore. You haven't deleted it from your computer. You can load it up again if you want. Um, but for export purposes, you don't want that two hour clip in there because otherwise it will add that two hour clip into all of your other clips. All right, your other option is if you double click inside those cells, you can add information in. So you're gonna see me go over to like the ODK here real quick and I put a, I just put a letter in each one. So you can either add a letter into cells and you can make cutups by doing that. Uh, you right click then on top of the, the, the column and you can filter so only the ones that have the ones that you want in there are a part of it um, so I, I just put a K in there just for a reference right now or or what you can do uh, is if you go into that first cell that first cell or the first row I should say and let's say you type full game into uh, into it uh, so that you have um, something typed, typed into that first row. You could go in there, type in a full game, like I'm gonna do right now. Um, and then you can, uh, you can sort and click all empty cells. So that's going to put something in there. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna filter, I'm gonna put all empty, right? All my empty cells. That gives me now all the empty cells that just have data or that just are clips, not the full one. All right, now I'm gonna go over to export. Um, I'm gonna go to export. You'll see me go over there here in a second. Uh, export, export clips, select multiple, type your name in of your file, select your folder of where you want it to export. I, I suggest making a new folder for every time you export, otherwise your clips will get all mixed up in terms of they have a bunch in the same one. You would click start, and then all of your clips will be in there shortly. Um, so I'll put a link to the huddle or to tempo video in the YouTube notes here. If you have questions on it, please let me know. Uh, I'd love to help you out.